Hello, I am making this video as suggested by my friends and I will be going through all of my um, my, st my stim toy collection. As I believe that stuffed animals should count, I'm going to also go through all of those that I have um, at the end of the video after the stim toys. If you don't already know, stimming is something that is commonly done uh, by individuals who are autistic or have ADHD, um, which I am both, and stimming is just like various uh, motions that um, are done um, for like really excess energy or for fun just various various things and stim toys can be a part of that which if it's hard to explain uh, but if you don't already know what that is then you shall probably figure it out by the end of this video first I'm gonna start with this thingy it's um, it's a thing with many sides and the various th things do that. This has like a joystick, this clicks, these, these things slide, these also click, this is like a rubbing thing, this is like a handle to go like that, and then there's various like knobs and clicky things. Personally, I like the clicky things, the clicky things that go click. And so like you can just put this in your hand and go like that whenever you're like bored. This helps me concentrate a lot, just hitting the clicky things. So I like it. This is another thing that goes like that. And the links break apart And they should go back together. And then it goes like that. It also makes nice clicking noises, which I approve of. These are little mesh thingies, which have marbles in them, and they can go like that. And I really like these things. They're quiet, um, which is inferior to the clicky thingies. Uh, but having a quiet stim toy to play with is good, especially if you are, for example, in class. Because uh, clicky things can distract other people. Um, so those are very nice. This is like a football type thing. It's like foam. It, I don't like this. I don't play with it. I don't use it. It's quiet, which I don't like. And I don't like how it feels. I'm not a big fan of this one, really. This is called an infinity cube or an infinite cube. And basically you can just, inf I'm trying to show how it, you can just like infinitely like um, do that with it and it goes, and it goes like that basically forever and it makes a clicking noise. This one is metal. I believe there are plastic ones that exist. It, um, yeah, you could just go like that forever basically. <laughs> With the infinite clicking of the infinity cube, it folds in on itself, and it folds, and it folds, and it folds forever, because it is the wonderful um, infinite clicks. This is like fake bubble wrap. It's, yeah, it's basically like bubble wrap, and you can pop them forever, um, which is very nice. These are basically like squishy stress balls. They're like little balls and little balls. For some reason it's only coming out of that hole. And those ones are like smaller. They're very squishy. And um have like little bits of uh, squishy sack. I don't know how I feel about these. Monkey noodles are like these rubbery plastic thingies. 
I don't know how to explain them. They're just like that. They're elastic -y. They're okay. I'm not a huge fan because they don't make clicking noises. Uh, but I like how they're smooth. This is a tangle. It's made up of these like these little links. The first thing I did when I got it is I tried to take it apart so I could put the links in um, so that they would be arranged by color, but I, I was unable to do that uh, due to the size of the little links. So when you play with it, sometimes they come apart and it makes a little popping noise, which I found can be distracting if you're doing it in class. Um, but otherwise, it's very nice. I like tangles. It goes like that, and you can just infinitely make keep yourself busy when you're not paying attention to the teacher, or when you are paying attention to the teacher. These infinite little wigglies of the tangle. And there it goes again. This is an egg. Those Easter eggs, and it had some slime in it, and the slime has like these little bits of paper in it. This is clear slime. I'm not a huge fan of this slime texture because it like breaks apart really easily. Um, as slime goes, it's okay, I guess. It's a little portable thing of slime. Here's another egg that also has slime. This is a purple slime with a slightly different check texture. It stays together more, especially when you play with it longer. That fell. Yeah, the other one, it was, I was broken because I was like tossing it up in the air, catching it, and then it didn't, um, it didn't land in my hands that one time. I really like the color of this one. It's nice and purple. Uh, also a nice slime that's just portable, you can bring it wherever, and it's less messy, which also helps. And you'll see more messy slimes that I have. This one is a, a smaller version of the other, not cube, what's it, what's it, when it has 12 sides. And this one has this, the joystick, two buttons for clicking and then two buttons for not clicking this one it just moves around a circle this one's just flat and these go in that it's not as interesting as the other one but it's smaller you can have it for in your pocket this one is putty um there it used to be half um half green half blue um but i mixed it together and it's this nice color now This is putty. It's um, very cool. I like it. I will probably be linking most of these stim toys down below. However, uh, this one I got from Stimtastic, which um, was part of a mystery box. So you can just pull at it forever and it's just nice putty. It will get sticky if you play for too long, but then you can just put it away and it'll cool down and you can play with it again. It's very relaxing. Um, I find that putty or slime, this is putty, is very nice for when you're stressed out and you can just squeeze it forever. It isn't the most convenient thing um, to bring with you places, uh, but a very nice stem anyways. Just stretch and play with it. Here's um, this thing, it's just the infinite, infinite, I don't know what it's called, but it's like these little rings and they go around and around and you just spin it, spin it forever. This is similar to the mesh with the, it has like a little gem in it and it's like this crocheted little pouch and you move the little gem around and I really like this one, this one is very satisfying. I got it some I got it recently but I, I like it very much. Now here's another one. This one is wearable. It's um oral stem. Uh there's different types of oral stems. 
for uh, for chewing on. And I guess you could play with it, but it's like you could chew on them. It's important to make sure to clean um, any oral stems that you have uh, via boiling them uh, for a few minutes in water to make sure that they're nice and clean because you're putting them in your mouth. Here's another one. These ones are dice. And they look like dice. Little D20s. And you can call it that. Nice to chew on sometimes. Like, can't, you know. The thing with chewable stem, stem toys is that they can break if you chew a lot. That's why you gotta get, like, thicker ones that are sturdier. And, of course, uh, those will be linked below. This is some slime. Or it's just more slime. Um, I'd had some slime in these in this container, um, but it dried out. And then I got some more slime, and that slime was too thin, so I combined this slime. And it smells nice. I tried eating this. Like I was I was tempted. There's a little a lot of times slime will have like little charms in it. Like this one looks like a little unicorn. Shouldn't eat slime, it's not edible. Unless you get edible slime, which would be cool. I think there's like it's made of glue. Which you should not eat, even if it's really tempting. There's a little like plastic Oreo in there. Yeah, I this is this has been a PSA. Do not eat the slime, no matter how good it smells. It smells like Oreo. It's, it doesn't smell like Oreo, but it smells like vaguely like cookie and sugar and it tastes it doesn't taste good but it smells good um there's a little bits of foam in there for texture but they know they they fall out sometimes they'll fall out you gotta be careful if you have little charms or things in your slime uh be careful to make sure that they don't fall out so you don't lose them as long as then you have to clean it up slime the longer you play with it the more it'll get messy because um, the texture of, not the texture, the temperature of your hands will warm it up and it'll cause it to become more melty. And you just gotta be careful with that. I find the best way to put slime back in this container, roll it up. That's container. And then push it down in the middle. Make sure you push it down into the corners of the container. Fold it in and out itself. And then when it stores, it'll just take the shape of the container uh, via expansion. Here's another container of slime. Same story as the previous one. This time it's pink and it smells like watermelon. It smells vaguely like watermelon. It smells like synthetic watermelon, but it smells good. I don't know what it smells like. This one is slightly softer. Even though it's basically the same thing. nice and cold. This one has like little bits of like rainbow sprinkles in it. Plastic rainbow sprinkles. And the little charm that looks like a watermelon. I'm pretty sure some rainbow sprinkles went flying with that, but that's okay. They'll be cleaned up eventually <laughs> when I clean my room. If I clean my room. And it's very nice and stretchy. It's very wonderful slime. I approve of this slime. I'm going to put this away so we can move on to other things. This is a necklace that was specifically intended to be a stem toy. If you'll notice, it's metal and it's got all these these little links. And it's metal and you can just twist it and play with it. And it's relatively quiet. And so if you can, ju if you just like, I don't know, loop it, make it look like, um, like a jewelry or something. I don't know. I, I, I can't get it around my head twice because my head is too large. Um, there's a true. I cannot. But you can use it as a bracelet or some other jewelry to just play with quietly. And it's uh, very nice. I like it a lot. Can I get it off my hand? I can't get it off my hand. And there you go. There's just another stem toy. This is another stem necklace. So it looks like a little dragon. And it has a little ring in its mouth. And you can just jingle. Jingle the dragon. I like it because it makes a little jingly noise. 
And it's nice to touch lots of textures on the little dragon and it makes a jingly noise. Very pleasant, I believe, this little dragon. Now for this part, I am going to go through my stuffed animals. I'm not going to go through my um, my keychain stuffed animals because I don't feel like taking them um, off of my backpack and there's quite a few of them. However, I will just go through my, um, my actual stuffed animals, just starting with the ones on my bed. This one is a cat. It's a long cat. Um, I approve. I approve of them all, but uh, this is a long cat. He's very nice to hug. hug. Very, very cuddly cat right here. And very friendly as well. This one is a sak Sakura flower cherry blossom cat. This is very, very soft and um, plush. Uh, a huggable friend. Very, very nice. These are plague doctors, plague doctor and, and plague nurse. Um, they're lesbians and they're, they're, they're little, um, little lanterns glow in the dark. Let's see if I can get that, turn off the light. I don't know if it's showing up on camera, but their little lanterns are indeed glowing. Uh, they glow more in person than they do on the camera. Um, but yes, these are the little leg doctors and they're very squishy and cuddly and they're very friendly as well. This one is a pillow. It says putting on it. Turn around. Oh look, there's little cats. There's lots of little cats inside. So you can store, uh, well, I came with the cats inside. These little, little happy cats inside. And also you have a pillow. I could put other stuffed animals in here, but I've chosen not to. And there's like the little cats. This one's another plushie. Um, this Onigiri rice ball. Very large, very soft, very friendly. And there's the little Bits of sticky rice. Very soft plushy. Uh, the next one is a snake. Um, her name is Hiss Hiss. She's very long. She lost her tongue a few years ago. Can't remember what it was. I've had her for a very long time. And uh, she's very she's very nice. Although she is a snake. So you gotta be careful about that. This next one is a beanie. Um, the character Rimuru from that time I got reincarnated as a slime. Very excellent anime. I suggest you check it out. Very nice to hug and the beanie. Next is a dinosaur. It's kind of, um, kind of squished. It's been my pillow for the past few years. Squished dino. <laughs> this one's a wolf body pillow that lives at the bottom of my bed. They're is very large. Large wolf. Um, he's, he's a protector. He's very nice. Now this is probably my second oldest one. Partially beanie, partially stuffed. Covered in repairs. Uh, no offense, but she's kind of cheap um, from the grocery store. There's a feather in there. Lots of different types of stuffing. Very dirty as well. Um, she might be rude, this lizard. Um, she's a girl when she's not in trees, but if you put her in a tree, uh, she's a boy. So kind of gender fluid lizard. I was totally cisgender as a child. <laughs> no, no, okay. Do, do, do. This, uh, this bad boy, I won playing darts. It's like these fo little foam beads. Um, won playing darts at the county fair at some point. Not, I, I don't, not very nice to like, hug. I feel like it, I feel like they're all gonna like collapse if I hug it too hard. Like, it's just kind of like a weird material. I don't like this. This one's a Rottweiler. Also lives at the foot of the bed. Big dog, good dog. Very good dog. Very excellent dog. Very nice. 
is a little blue owl creature thingy. They're just vibing. This is a little cat. Happy blue cat and they live. The little owl lives on top of the blue cat. I would say this is my newest beanie. Came with the um, random toy box. The um, little raccoon. Very soft and very, like part beanie, part plush. Very nice. Next, there's my oldest stuffed animal. Uh, part beanie, part plush. Little frog. If you lift up the corner, you can see where it's still clean. Pro I don't. I've probably had this since I was a baby. Little little froggy. And then this is a random little um little dolphin. And that is missing an eye. I don't know where it's from. It's just just a dolphin. This is a super birdie with like a little cape. It's a little robin with a little cape. Also very old. I remember playing with it in kindergarten. Super birdie can fly and is a super spy or whatever that song was I made up. And it's a little super bird. And the cape's like little thing used to clean glasses with. That's all like covered in paint. Do, do, do. This is like a glove with a little possum. Hello. Hello, I'm a possum. I would like to say hi. Just a little possum toy thing. Or a hand puppet. Also a very old toy. Uh, that's a zebra. I don't know, it's just zebra vibing. This is a Webkins that I got recently. Um, it's the Midnight Monster Webkins which is a game I am getting into again. Uh, most, almost all of my original Webkins toys that I had are gone. I don't know what happened to them. Uh, I guess I got rid of them at some point, but I've got a new one. It's Webkins, Webkins plushies, even if you don't play the game, they're very soft and squishy. Little penguin, beanie, beanie baby, beanie boo. I don't know what they're called. Like little, little penguin. <laughs> A Beanie Baby, that is a ant eater. Very cool. I like ant eaters. Ant eaters are rad. We approve. We stand a little ant eater. This the this, this is my only original Webkins. It's a little keychain. I think it was like the love frog or something with little hearts on it, like a Valentine's Day special. Very plush, even if it's dirty at this point. Maybe it should go through. Maybe not through the wash, but like. Little, little froggy. Next, there is a happy octopus. Happy, happy octopus. But look, we can make it a sad octopus. He's mad, angry octopus. It's also happy, happy octopus. Very soft. I love these things. I only have one, but it's adorable and very plush. Dino that I saw at the grocery store the other day, and it's very soft, and I like it. It's very plush, plush, plush. Tiny little beanie cat, beanie cat, little beanie cat, beanie, beanie cat. I don't know if this counts, but this is like a pillow pet that I got when I was like in middle school or something. It is dirty at this point. <laughs> I remember I was obsessed with these things. I only ever got one, but yeah. It's a unicorn pillow pet. You know what? Maybe I will go through my keychains this one. This is a cactus. Very squishy little cactus. Cactus! Do do do. Spin around. I attached I attached them together, but there's a little um little turtle that I got from a um aquarium at some point. And pushing cat, very fluffy. Very cute. Another pushing cat which holds my bus pass for school. And there's like little Little unicorn pushing cat. Do, do, do. And for my little backpack, I have little, smells like grape, little dinosaur that smells like grape and it's very, actually it's a bean. Beans, not squishy. Thick beans. And little goat. On there. And then there's this little unicorn, spiky. Spiky unicorn, which is on another bag that I have. I would say that is all of my stem toys and plushies. Hope you were entertained by this. That's all. Bye.